Welcome back, first timers. We're back in Destin, Florida, but this time we're checking out Big Kahuna's water park. We're gonna check out the cabanas, the pools, and the slides. Let's get wet. With the cabana, you get to skip the line and then you have a nice little seating shaded area to wait in until they come get you to take you to your cabana. So our cabana, it seats up to 10 people. It comes with four complimentary bottles of water and a locker. And then you also can get a server for an additional charge, which we did. They have a bunch of food options and drink options, but just be prepared. You are in a tourist area and the prices are pretty high. Right by the front entrance, they do have life jackets available for free in case you need one. They have nine slides and rides, four rivers and two pools. They also have a section for smaller children and they have about five rides over there. Right next to the first aid station, they have three restaurants, the Hideaway, the Snack Shack, and Pizza Pizza. And then they also have a bar called the Sand Bar. The Hideaway has burgers, fries, and chicken tenders. The Snack Shack has just what you think it has, snacks. It's got chips, ices, and nachos. And then right next to that is the Sand Bar, and it's a full bar with alcohol and beer on tap. Most of the rides do have a height requirement. It's between 42 to 48 inches, depending on the ride. Looks like I make the cut. All of the rides in the kids area don't have a height requirement. The rides also have a weight restriction. It's between 250 to 400 pounds, depending on the ride. They even have a little gift shop here for all the essentials, shirts, hats, maybe some flip flops and souvenirs. Unlike what you may have seen on other YouTube videos, they don't really allow you to film while you're on any of the rides. For now, we're just gonna watch other people take their trip down the slides. The wave pool is right in the center of the park and that's where you also have the majority of your seating. And then right next to the wave pool is the kids area. Well, there's multiple cabana areas throughout the park. This one's over by the Lazy River and the wave pool. If you need a bigger space than a cabana, they also have areas that you can rent out for large parties like birthday parties or corporate events. If you come here, just be prepared. There are a lot of steps. So if you have mobility issues, little kids or a stroller, it might be kind of difficult to move about the park. They do have ramps here and there, but the majority of the walking is going to be up and down steps. You might be asking, why would you come to Destin with all these beaches and come to a water park? Well, if it's anything like this week, sometimes the Gulf is really rough out there. Sometimes it's red flag, sometimes it's double red flag, and the beaches are closed. And this is a great option for that. If you're in town and want to find out the current beach conditions for Destin and Fort Walton Beach, text BEACH, all caps, to 44144 and they'll text you the current beach conditions. While they do have a ton of giant slides that I'm way too scared to get on, they also have a lot of areas for little kids that's easily accessible for them. If you don't like slides and you don't like swimming, definitely check out this giant splash pad behind me. That's where you're gonna find me. Ooh, look, that's refreshing. I think the Lazy River is a little bit more my speed.
another safety tip. While there's water all around you, don't drink the water. Make sure you're staying hydrated. It's an absolute scorcher today. If it wasn't for this cabana, I think we would have probably left. It is hot. If you can do it, I would highly recommend upgrading to the cabana. But if not, find one with an umbrella or maybe just get out of the sun for a little bit because I'm getting hot. One more safety tip for you. The ground is super hot today. So if you brought maybe some water shoes, that would be ideal right now. So we're here smack dab in the middle of summer. It's hot, the water conditions are really rough, so there is a ton of people here trying to escape the heat and cool off. Be aware that the lines for food and drinks are tremendously long. If you're able to get a cabana, you'll have a concierge server, and they'll be able to facilitate your food and drink transactions, which makes it so much more simple than uh, standing in line. The staff's been great. They're super accommodating, very friendly. For a day like today where it's extremely hot, really humid, and this place is packed, they're still real cheery and happy. Kudos to the staff here. We just put in our food order. We got some pepperoni pizza and some chicken tenders. Unfortunately, they're out of their Korean sauce. It's supposed to be really good, so maybe we'll have to come back just for that. We also ordered a couple drinks, just the, the usual for me vodka soda. It's just a little bit too hot for sugary drinks. They do have a whole menu of cocktails, frozen drinks, mixed drinks with all kinds of juices. They also have a couple of summer specials that aren't on the menu. We got our chicken tenders. It comes with three tenders each, fries, and a ton of sauce. Crispy? Chicken tendery? Not tough? I approve. Pizza arrived and it is piping hot. It's a really big pizza. It's closer to an extra large size rather than a large size and they do not skimp on the cheese. It is stacked to the top of the box, literally, with cheese. The sauce isn't that sweet, and uh, the crust is pretty good. I think all in all, for water park pizza, I give it a thumbs up. It's not gonna be the best pizza in town, but it's a solid pizza for the location. If you're looking for something fun to beat the heat in Destin, Florida, that doesn't include the beach, we would highly recommend you come out to Big Kahuna's. It's an awesome water park. It's not huge, but there are enough rides to keep you entertained, there's enough little coves, nooks, and crannies where you can just hang out, chill, and relax by the water. The lines are a little bit long. Obviously, the prices for food are tourist prices. As long as you accept those two things, this is a place you definitely should come visit. The staff is amazing. They've taken care of us while we were here. Would highly recommend. I know we didn't go on any rides, but I got in the lazy river. Terry got sprayed down by the uh, splash pads. If you like this video, check out this video right here where we did something else awesome that didn't involve the beach. Thanks again for following along in this episode and join us next time when we try something else new for the first time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. First timers. High five. Come to Big Kahuna, like and subscribe.